Continuing our conversation with Bash and SQL, here's just a brief summary. Uh, we were talking about command substitution. You can see here uh, string curly braces for variable, a string double parentheses uh, syntax is for math, and the, the string single parentheses is for command substitution. So here's some examples. Uh, if I set a variable and I, I set test equal to apple, and I just echo test, you see it echoes back apple. Uh, if I echoed test Todd, uh, that variable hasn't been set, so it echoes back nothing. But if I were to say um, echo uh, uh, string curly brace test Todd, uh, that is going to evaluate that variable. So it would echo back apple Todd. If I wanted to do uh, mathematical functions, work with math, uh, I would say echo string double parenthesis and it would evaluate that mathematical function. If I want to use command substitution rather than using backtick, you should be using string single parenthesis. So in this example, it's going to evaluate the command date before it runs the echo. Uh, just some more review on echo in a script. If you use echo-e, uh, it's going to allow bash to, in to interpret your special or escape characters like newline. Uh, more review on for x in y loops or for x in a list. Do something. I think that's a, a variable, a very valuable uh, uh, loop to have. So here is a, a good example of for x in list. So for every line in the list, do something. Uh, I want it to echo the line. And then maybe the, instead of the entire line, I want to echo the line, but just field one as defined by the field separator or delimiter of a vertical bar. So this is a, a good example of the uh, for x and y. Uh, or you can do things like you can expand that out. If I want to interpret the command, I can now use my string parenthesis, echo E line pipe cut delimiter of a vertical bar field one. I can set manufacturer equal to that and altitude equal to field two and count equal to field three. So you can see where we might be able to use this in our SQL lab.